I did not 3D print these headlight lenses on my ski ride too. I molded them and I'll show you how I did it. They're beautiful, perfectly shaped, crystal clear, and they're bright. If you have the equipment, you could vacuum mold them, but that's not necessary on a item this small. I printed the lenses, just use black, that was in my printer, and I reduced the size first in X and Y in Prusa Slicer. I reduced it so that these just slipped inside the buckets. Then I reduced them again by another 10 thou for allow for the thickness of my plastic and molded them over the ones that are smaller. The size ended up being 40 thousandths smaller in X and Y and for the plastic that I'm using I just took this wrap from a Castle Creations BEC and that's what I used to um, to mold these and got a nice slip fit. So that way I didn't have to buy an entire roll of uh, clear just to print two little headlight lenses. It's pretty simple. Here's what I used to mold them. It's a servo tray from a zip kits boat kit. Cut it up to make two frames. So that's just the size of a servo. And then cut your plastic so that just about covers the frames. Sandwich the plastic between the frames. I used pliers to hold the frame together while I heat this with my heat gun. Then I set the heat gun down. The wood's not that hot that you can't hold it, but I'm not gonna hold it and blow on my fingers with the heat gun. That will be too hot. But then just keep them squeezed together, push it down over the mold. This is nothing more than a little piece of balsa wood and a clamp where it supports the reduced size um, lens when I push the hot plastic down over it. Print both of them. There is a left and a right. One corner has a little bit more of an angle. I think it's the outside corner so this one would be the left one. And then remember to switch your molds when you're molding your lenses. So let's Give this a go. See if I can't demonstrate how to mold these. What I did was a practice. I think it took me one practice piece, and that was simply for how much do you heat this. The way I did it, not very scientific, is I just counted. So for my heat gun to get this hot enough to mold it. I found it to be to the count of 15. So let's try that. I also have this towel here because when I get this heated, I'm gonna drop the heat gun and the pliers and press this over the mold. So let's see how this goes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. I can see it sagging. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. And push it down. And there's a headlight.
the other thing I did is I increased the length. I made it 343 thousandths long. That would be the Z measurement in Prusa Slicer. Just gives it a longer distance. I'm not sure the right um, words for that as far as molding, but like, I don't know, longer flu, longer distance to pull it over straight. It, because it's not vacuum molded, it's slightly pulled out, but we're going to trim this back to about here. And that's the other thing. You can take number 11 exacto, and you can cut around this, leave the mold inside there. You can cut against it to cut the lens off. The bucket is an eighth inch deep. I measured it, and I have mine sticking out a sixteenth. So from here to here, cut it off. 316ths long. Pretty sure I misremembered on this length. When I set my veneers at 3 16 be 187 thou, it looks a little bit short. So set it at 250 if you have veneers. But what I did is I just scribed a light line touching against that front edge of the lens and I've been cutting holding the lens mold in there with my thumb and I'm cutting against that lens mold number 11 exacto all the way around There we have a headlight lens. They're just so beautiful, perfectly molded, crystal clear, perfect shape, fit right inside the buckets on the ski ride too. Just did another one. Now I have a pair of lenses. For my next ski ride too, remember this angle here on the outside, slightly bigger, do a left and a right, that's all it takes, a few simple tools, you can do it, make yourself some beautiful headlight lenses for your ski ride too. The last part of this install, if you look closely at my headlight lenses, you can see a nice, neat, even bead of silk and caulk on the inside. This is to hold them in and also to keep them from getting moisture on the inside and fogging up. It would be very tempting to super glue these in. I would say do not do that because super glue will fog these lenses. So dry fit them, place them in there, take a small screwdriver like this. You might have to tuck the back side of these lenses in. It has a slight bit of flare. Dry fit them, make sure they fit. And then what I did is I used silicon glue. Silicon caulk would work also, I'm sure, but Take a small screwdriver like this, and here's how much I used. Like that much on the tip of the screwdriver. Go on the inside of the headlight buckets. Keep taking little dabs like this and just spread a film of caulk. I start from the back, just wipe it this way, move over and wipe it. Get another small dab, get an even film of caulk around the inside of the buckets. And then when you slide the lens in place, it'll scrape that silicon caulk right up against that back edge and leave a nice bead like I have here. Take your time to do it like that. You'll have yourself a ski ride too that you'll just love to take pictures of.